Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of motion design to create a stylish infographic inspired by the popular videos from Vox and Johnny Harris. This style is known for its distinct, vintage aesthetic, rich textures, and characteristic smooth yet choppy animation. We'll go step by step to build an animated bar chart from scratch in After Effects. Let's get started. First, let's create a new composition. I'll set the resolution to full HD, 1920 by 1080 pixels, but feel free to choose whatever settings suit your project. Now for the background. I've chosen a pleasant peach tone, but you can experiment and find a color that best fits your theme. Next, create a new solid layer of any color. We'll add the grid effect to it. This is a very popular element in the Vox visual style. To give the grid a vintage, handmade feel, we'll apply the rough and edges effect. This will create the illusion of gaps and imperfections, like on old paper. Now, let's fine tune the settings. Adjust the border thickness and reduce the grid's opacity so it doesn't draw too much attention. Now let's create our sidebars. Using the rectangle tool, draw the first horizontal bar. I'm using the same neutral blue color. Key point. Move the anchor point to the left edge of the shape, exactly in the center. This is very important, so the bar grows correctly from left to right. Next, let's animate its appearance. In the layer properties, find scale, unlink the axes, and this time animate the width, that is, the x-axis value, from 0% to 100%. For smoothness, apply Easy Ease. To quickly create the remaining bars, right-click on the layer and choose Pre-Compose. Now simply duplicate this pre-composition. An infographic is incomplete without text. I'll be using the classic Times New Roman font. Let's add the main title, making it black and prominent. Below that, we'll add a subtitle or the data source. To make it look professional, we'll choose a gray color and make the font slightly smaller. Now, let's label each bar and add the corresponding percentage values on the other side. And now for the magic. To achieve that signature Vox effect, create a new adjustment layer and apply the posterized time effect to it. Set the value to around 10 to 12 frames per second. This will create that characteristic choppy animation. On top of that, let's add a bit of the noise effect to give the image a vintage film texture. To make our bars look less perfect, let's apply the rough and edges effect to them as well. This will add a slight irregularity to their shape. Now, let's create the signature dot texture. Create a new solid 
and apply the fractal noise effect. Next, use the color key effect to remove all the white, leaving only the black fractals. After that, apply the CC ball action effect. This will transform our fractals into small, round dots. Finally, use the fill effect to color the dots with our background color. It looks amazing. Time to bring our text to life. Because of the posterized time effect, any animation will look stylishly staggered. I'm using the free Mr. Horse plugin for quick animation. I'll apply a typewriter effect for the titles and a smooth position reveal from the bottom for the other text layers. The last step is to offset the layers on the timeline so the text appears sequentially, one after another. And that's it. Our stylish Vox-inspired infographic animation is complete. We've covered all the key steps, from creating the grid and bars, to applying global effects, and animating the text. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Experiment with colors, fonts, and effects to find your own unique style. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.